Right, here we have a Commodore Amiga CD32 in working order with the SX1 Paravision add-on. It's a PC keyboard. We have a floppy disk drive, an Amiga CT CD32 joypad. And here we have a Goliath power pack, which I believe are quite rare nowadays. Uh, a genius mouse and mouse pad I'm using. Right, I'll switch the power pack on. You switch the CD32 on. There's the lights going. You'll also hear the, the floppy disk drive going in a minute. Once it kicks in, there's a floppy disk drive light going. Just detected. Loading up. I've left a disk in there which I didn't mean to do. I want to take that out. Reset it. You see it's now booting up again. There we go. It comes up with the Workbench. Not a problem. If I stick a floppy disk in the drive, going in, it goes in now. It'll read it. It'll come up on the on the screen. There it goes WS on the screen. So that's working fine. If we then take the a CD and put it in the drive unit. Put the drive unit down. See the lights working, the drive light. Yeah, she comes up, you can just see to the bottom of the screen there where the mouse is there. That's that disc I put in. And there's the disc there. Recognising the disc. It's recognising the floppy drive. It's getting power from the Goliath power pack. Uh, colours are pretty vibrant and everything. Not a problem. I've been playing games on it, so I know it's all working. There's not a problem with it at all. Um, that's about it, basically. Thank you for watching.